Hello again, YouTube Ghost X59 here. I'm gonna fuck this asshole up. Welcome to more Fallout 4. I'm gonna be your host today, as always. <laughs> okay. God damn, this is a dense ass area. Not Nope, there's just a lot more levels to it. It is time for the ultimate power armor upgrade. Strong not understand humans. Whoops. Not understand super mutants. It is not time for the ultimate power armor upgrade. In fact, I still have a little bit to go for that one. One more level. Let's go ahead and try to do something productive this time around. Let's go to Good Neighbor and complete some quests. Ow, my arm. Why does this camera always move? I mean, come on. You have a job to do. What, Assaultrons? Yeah, those those things are fucking assholes. Assaultron Assaultrons are assholes. Oh, you're back. Can't yes, I am. Looks this lovely figure of mine. <laughs> well, not really, you creepy <laughs> old lady. Just have to shop, then. I've got a few minutes to browse. Everything's guaranteed to last. Until it doesn't. I mean, they have heavy leather armor. Do you have stim packs? I need stim packs. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna pretend I'm not hearing what I'm hearing right now from my party. Weapons needs to make a living after all. Let's see what you got. Each weapon tested on someone who deserved it. Hmm. 
Hmm. Let's continue with the quest of doom. I heard you walk that freedom train. Go on, give some data. What do they call it? History bug. Let's continue. Mm, yes. Oh, the epic recording. Not Irma. Um. Good neighbors crazy. Thefts, murders, worse. Sometimes you just gotta escape a little to make it through the day. I hear you. It's a mess out there. It's rough in the best of days. But, but now, you ever listen to the Silver Shroud? Huh. That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. My family and I used to listen to every new episode. You mean when they first aired? How? The last broadcast was hundreds of years ago. Hmm. I was in cryogenic storage for a long time. I only just woke up. Oh man, that's amazing! You're just like Mr. Abominable from episode 83! Wasn't he... a caveman? Yeah, that's the one. They found him <laughs> in an iceberg off the harbor. Boy, if you just woke up. The world these days must take some getting used to. Yeah? It seems like people are finally rebuilding and recovering from the nuclear war. Maybe in some parts, like Diamond City. But over here, we got a ways to go. I got a question for you. What if the Silver Shroud was real? With his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun? I got a plan to bring him to life, so we can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. What plan? I've built my own custom machine gun, even better than the one in the show. But to make this work, I still need the most important piece. The genuine Silver Shroud costume herself. And they actually got one here in Boston. They made it for the TV show. Will you help? <laughs> I'll get the costume for you. You're gonna do this? For real? Before the bombs fell, they were filming the Silver Shroud hmm. pilot over at Hubris Comics. So that's where you'll find it. You're the best. Okay. Go check main quest line areas, you can find Piper there. Sometimes she'll walk off for the quest. Hey you, looking for work? What kind of work? It's good work, under the supervision of the best boss you'll ever have. If you don't mind a little manual labor, and don't ask too many questions, you're in. I'll give you 50 caps to start. Interested? 
I'm gonna need more to go on here. There's a project I'm mm -hmm. working on. A big one. One that could get me into lots of trouble if the wrong person finds out. So little discretion is called for. I got a delicate house of cards going here. You know? Mm-hmm. You can do better than that. Fine. Take a hundred up front. This is just a bad deal. Trust me, there will be much more Damn. later on. Just take the 50 caps. I'm in. That's what I like to hear. Let's go inside. I'll give you the lowdown. The big dig? Dig, Vic! You know you like the dig, Vic. Okay. Must play Fallout 4. Ready to get to work? Are you gonna tell me what we're actually doing? Look, we're pulling a job here. Big payoff. Taking some things that aren't technically ours yet. If you expect me to work for you, I'm gonna need more information than that. Mm, curious type, eh? All right. I'll spell it out for you. You are going to be doing some digging. What are we digging for? Buried treasure? You could call it that. But seriously, lay off the questions. The other two are down there digging already. Go give them a hand, will you? My oh my, do I need a shovel? Fuck it, I guess I. Well, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'm so confused. What the hell did I just get sucked into? Hmm. Bobby will pay us this week? I don't know, man. It's starting to feel like a little charity. Did you just hear something? It's crawling with my alerts! Fail! Bobby can take this Did job and fight? shove it. Uh huh. Good luck. Holy shit. Ow. I regret my decision there. Bring it, bitch. filled with mire lurks at least you put up a better fight than those good for nothings well you stuck around at least so I guess you're promoted you get to be my new gun I think we just need one more guy an old friend he'll want a fair cut but we saw what being cheap got me just tell me where to go and who to talk to I knew I liked you 
First, I think it's best if you actually see what we're after. I have some things to check on in Diamond City. Head over to the noodle shop there, and I'll meet you when I finish up my business. That's not what I meant to do. What am I digging for? Hi, Kate. <laughs> okay, let's go. I just happened to cross this quest by pa by chance. I'm quite surprised by that. Turn the wrong corner and look at where I am now. Sucked in into a quest that I'm really not sure about. Excuse me. Diamond City. I should probably explore that high school in the future. Mm. Diamond City radio broadcasts the most popular music from before the war, as well as more recent news stories. Wait a minute. There you are. <laughs> Was wondering if you were gonna show up. Yes, it's me. I have to hide my face in these parts. People like me aren't allowed around here. <laughs> now let's get down to business. That big wall of glass looming over Diamond City is the mayor's office. Mm -hmm. Most people don't know it, but there's a strong room buried beneath. The mayor's just sitting on top of it. And that's our target. Really? The guy has it coming, if you ask me. With how he treats my kind, maybe he deserves worse. What's inside? Caps, meds, food. Enough to keep this city running. It's things we want. Things everyone wants. You get in on this, there's plenty for you. You got it? So, what do you say we make this party a little bigger? I managed to track down my tech guy. His name's Mel, and he is right here in Diamond City. The guy can make a gadget to solve any problem. Thing is, he's a bit locked up right now. You have to get him out of there. I can't just stroll into Diamond City security with this face, covered or not. If you really think we need this guy... Trust me. This is the guy we need. Pick a lock, find a key, bribe the guard. The usual stuff. Just get him out of there. 
You again. Yes. All right. It is me. Got plenty of supplies. Sure. Let's take a look. Odds and ends. Oops. <laughs> I gave her too much. Good God. We can talk about guns, or maybe you want to consider something more up close and personal. I'll take a look, sure. Don't forget to stock up on ammo. It's a big boy. Bum, ba, da, da, da. Wait, what? Where did you get all these extremely high tech weapons? Huh. If you're here to be examined, let's get you examined. Okay. I need some supplies, Doctor. All right, but go easy on the chems. that. How much is that thing even worth? Zero. Yeah, I... that's... wow. <laughs> 508... goodness. Data, the big dig. Let's do this. Don't walk outside the wall undefended. High quality protection for sale. <clears throat> Come on now, don't freeze on me. car in the yard how about I hammer you in the heart with a haymaker hey you got something to say I was hoping to get 
Mel at a lockup. No way. He's going to service time just like everyone else. You got something to say? Why is Mel in here? Him? He was caught trying to reprogram the robot bartender at the tap house to give him free drinks. Just between you and me, I would totally do that if I knew how. I'll give you 300 caps to let Mel out of there. Keep your voice down, will you? I shouldn't be doing this. Fine. I need him that bad. All right. You're free to go, buddy. Let's just get out of here. Mel. I'm curious what this is about, but let's talk once we make some distance, okay? Come on, man. Let's go. Yeah, freedom. Freedom from jail that I've never been to. Let's go. Mel. I'm curious what this is about, but let's talk once we make some distance, okay? Thanks for getting me out, I guess. So, you're Bobby's new toy. You have big ears. Bobby asked me to get you out. I bet it was just out of the kindness of her huge heart, right? God. That woman doesn't have a patient bone in her body. I wasn't serving a life sentence here. What, she couldn't wait like a day? What's the job? How'd you like to help break into the Diamond City strong room? Well, damn. That's a big score. Could be enough caps there to keep me going for a long time. Bobby may be shady, but she always pays up in there. So, I guess I'll get my stuff and head over to her place. <laughs> this is such a strange little quest. I like it. I like it a lot. Onwards. To the back alley. This is definitely a very interesting quest. Yes. <sighs> that was an exceptionally massive yawn. Do 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 do. Something tells me Kate's going to be very happy <laughs> with this whole situation. She's been waiting for me to turn to the dark side. I'll go with a mining helmet. Got yourself into trouble again, Mel. What can I say? All right. I learned from the best. Here. Mel, you want to introduce your little friend? Yep. Meet Sonia. This little bot is going to help us move through the earth like a mole rat on jet. I'm excited to see what she can do. <laughs> I can't wait to show you. She's one of a kind. <laughs> I modified her radio systems to emit sonic pulses at frequencies that can loosen any sediment around. Mel says we'll be able to get to the strong room mm -hmm. ten times faster than just digging. And it's a hell of a lot safer than loading this place up with dynamite. All right, guys, get ready. I'm not completely sure how this place will respond. So, uh, brace yourselves. Sonia, 
Do your thing. You know, come to think of it, I'm going to have to continue this in the next episode. So if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. I did that backwards. And if, yeah, that was weird. Bye. See you later.